Hello and welcome back to Northeast Nostalgic. Today we're in Newcastle exploring an underrated historic gem, located on the bustling city road. I've wanted to take a look at this scary looking building for quite a while after seeing it for the first time from the quayside. After following the city road round to this high and imposing stone wall, we can look up and see this is the Kalesman Hospital. The Kalesman Hospital was built in 1701 to provide accommodation for widows and children of deceased Kalesmen and also those who were ill or destitute. Hardy Kalesmen of Newcastle operated flat bottom boats full of coal along the busy River Tyne, working in incredibly physical demanding conditions. They would carry coal from the riverbanks out to wait in collier ships, working in super close knit communities. The community raised money for the constructions of the armhouses by a levy of four pence a tide on the Kalesmen themselves, costing £2,000 in total at the time. Due to the unpredictability of their jobs, the hospital and almshouses were vital for looking after Kalesmen who had gone through tough times. The Kalesmen had quite the hardy reputation, but were keen to look after their own. In 1729, 200 Kalesmen formed themselves into a benefit society to regulate the hospital and keep it in repair. The hospital was ahead of its time, being somewhere for the sick, old and the widows of the community to be looked after in one place. Behind the hospital lies 50 chambers that enclose around a grass courtyard for people to live in. Whilst it was a free place to live, there were still rules to follow. The Sabbath day had to be observed, promoting a good religious life. Rooms had to be looked after and kept in a decent state. With washing being done in the wash house often. No rubbish could be placed in corridors, having respect for the building and other other people living in the hospital. While these rules seem quite standard today, these high standards were not always upheld due to the smuggling of alcohol. It was often smuggled into the hospital, or inmates would wander off to the nearby taverns. Although I suppose you couldn't really blame the inmates for wanting to enjoy their elderly life, as there were so many funerals at the site. On each funeral, the bell in the tower would ring as a mark of respect and they were given a decent Christian burial. In the centre of the building, a square clock tower towers above Newcastle's skyline. I don't know if I find this building really creepy or really fascinating. There is a spooky story attached to the Kalesman Hospital, so maybe that's why. It was the scene of a violent murder on New Year's Day in 1829. Jane Jameson, a fishwife, murdered her mother who was an inmate in a drunken rage with a red-hot poker. Jane's trial and execution drew huge crowds 
as she was the first woman to be publicly hung in Newcastle for over 71 years. The hospital has stood empty for over 10 years now, with its fate hanging in the balance. <laughs>